Hello beautiful souls. So we are here today. We've completed another component of the workbook. So we're on to um, review number four. I actually really like this section of review. It just gives us a few thoughts to sit with it. So let's read through the review and then I'll stop and record the actual lesson for the day right after. So here we go. Here's our instructions. Now a review again. This time, aware we are preparing for the second part of learning how the truth can be applied. This is perfect, how the truth can be applied. Today we will begin to concentrate on readiness for what will follow next. Such is our aim for this review and for the lessons following. Thus we review the recent lessons and their central thoughts in such a way as will facilitate the readiness which we would now achieve. Readiness is our goal. <laughs> this is a central theme that unifies each step in the review we undertake, which can be simply stated in these words. My mind holds only what I think with God. My mind holds only what I think with God. This is a fact and represents the truth of what you are and what your Father is. It is this thought by which the Father gave creation to the Son, establishing the Son as co-creator with Him. It is this thought which fully guarantees salvation to the Son. For in His mind no thoughts can dwell but those His Father shares. Lack of forgiveness blocks this thought from his awareness, yet it is forever true. Perfect. Our true mind is the holy mind that we share with God. For in that holy mind, my mind holds only what I think with God. And through the act of forgiveness, are we undoing our false perception to rest in the right perception, which is this right mind of God. Perfect. Our readiness now being cultivated to accept this as the truth for ourselves and for everyone. It is forever true. Let us begin our preparation with some understanding of the many forms in which the lack of true forgiveness may be carefully concealed. Because they are illusions, they are not perceived to be what they are. Defenses which protect your unforgiving thoughts from being seen and recognized. Yes, we defend our thoughts which keep the illusory thoughts from being recognized is what they are. Because their purpose is to show you something else and hold correction off, self-deceptions made to take its place. Yep. We say no to correction and yes to illusions because that's all we've ever known. We're learning anew. And yet your mind holds only what you think with God. Your self-deceptions cannot take the place of truth. No more can a child who throws a stick into the ocean change the coming and the going of the tides, the warming of the water by the sun, the silver of the moon on it by night. So do we start each practice period in the review with readying our minds to understand the lessons that we read and see the meaning which they offer. So we are understanding the lessons that we read. We're now moving into understanding and to see the meaning that they offer us. So we're diving deeper than just the words now, but into the meaning, into the content. Begin each day with time devoted to the preparation of your mind to learn what each idea you will review that day can offer you in freedom and in peace. Open your mind and clear it of all thoughts that would deceive, and let this thought alone engage it fully and remove the rest. My mind holds only what I think with God. Five minutes with this thought will be enough to set the day along the lines which God appointed and to place his mind in charge of all the thoughts you will receive that day. So we're going to start in the morning with this thought to anchor our day on this beautiful love of God. And so each one will bring the message of his love to you, returning his messages of yours to him. 
so will communion with the Lord of hosts be yours, as he himself has willed it be. And as his own completion joins with him, so will he join with you who are complete as you unite with him and he with you. Woo! Experiencing our completion and our unity with God. After your preparation, merely read each of the two ideas assigned to you to be reviewed that day. Then close your eyes and say them slowly to yourself. There is no hurry now. Fear you are using time for its intended purpose. Let each word shine with the meaning God has given it as it was given you through his voice. Let each idea that you review that day give you the gift which he has laid in it for you to have of him. And we will use no format for our practicing but this. Each hour of the day, bring your mind the thought with which the day began and spend a quiet moment with it. So every hour we're going to remind ourselves and spend an hour with the thought of the day. Spend an hour, spend a quiet moment with the thought of the day on the hour. Then repeat the two ideas you practice for the day unhurriedly with time enough to see the gifts which, which they contain for you. And let them be received with where they were meant to be. We add no other thoughts, but let them be the messages they are. We need no more than that to give us happiness and rest and endless quiet, perfect certainty, and all our Father wills that we receive as the inheritance we have of Him. Wow, we are here receiving His holy gifts completely and entirely. Each day of practicing, as we review, we close as we begin, repeating first the thought the day that made the day a special time of blessing and of happiness for us, and through our faithlessness, restored the world from darkness to light, from grief to joy, from pain to peace, from sin to holiness. God offers thanks to you who practice thus the keeping of his word. And as you give your mind the ideas for the day again before you sleep, his gratitude surrounds you in the peace wherein he wills you be forever and are learning now to claim as your inheritance. These thoughts are our inheritance as God created us to be. Morning and night, we're going to sit with it, let it marinate in there to experience that it's true, and every hour on the hour, remind ourselves, my mind holds only what I think with God and the two thoughts for the day. And so it is our beautiful application. Thank you, Brother Jesus. Love you all. Have a beautiful day.